Good afternoon, friends and visitors, and welcome back once again to our English Flash News edition, in which we present a translated English version of the Albanian news. In today's news, Prime Minister Edi Rama gave the opening speech today at a meeting between the European foreign ministers. The meeting was between the 13 foreign ministers of the countries that are participating in the SEECP, as well as representatives of the European Union, the Regional Cooperation Council, and the Lithuanian EU chairmanship. In his opening speech, Prime Minister Rama said that the regional countries must be united so that their voice can be heard in the EU. According to him, Albania is an important partner for the region, and the EU is fragile without her. He said, For us, it is important to stress the aspect of security in the regional cooperation. The joint declaration against terrorism testifies that we are furthering the cooperation. As a representative of the country that is chairing the Southeastern European cooperation process until June, I propose that we secure our position as a trusted EU partner and that we become more active. Europe is encountering political and economic challenges, and we must address these challenges in the right way. The EU needs this region like this region needs the EU. Albania will be a country that is fully committed to the process of integration, said Rama. The Prime Minister said that efforts have been made in the economy, infrastructure, and other domains in order to determine new efficient means of economic cooperation. He said that without this cooperation, any unity that exists will be fragile. At the end of the meeting, Minister Bushati held a press conference along with his Bulgarian and Romanian counterparts. He announced the signing of a joint declaration against terrorism. The minister said that all of the foreign ministers expressed the same attitude against terrorism. He also stated that the challenges involved in gaining EU membership will be overcome. The Law Commission met today and approved some changes to the law on the organization of the local government. The Socialist MP Bashkim Fino proposed a legal change which would allow mayors to be re-elected only twice. The Socialist deputy said that he will soon present a legal amendment concerning this issue. The selection of district councils was also discussed in the Commission. MP Oerd Bulukbashi said that this selection must be done fairly. He said that if the law follows this party's proposal, there will be no need to raise the issue again. On this issue as well, Bashkim Fino proposed a change in the Constitution. He proposed that the selection of district councils should be done by direct popular vote. Lulzin Basha said today that returning the Democratic Party to power is the only way to fix Albania's troubles. He implied that early elections are the only chance the country has to return to economic and social normality. According to Basha, this government has turned the country into a republic of drama and human disaster. Basha said that the government has targeted the poor when it comes to the energy sector. The Democratic Party chairman said that this is not the government that the citizens voted for and that its time has now passed. According to him, the citizens will prove this when they turn out to vote. He encouraged the Democratic MPs to continue to listen to the problems of the citizens. Basha made these statements at the Democratic Parliamentary Group meeting. He claimed that with the return of the Democratic Party to power, every injustice will be fixed. The Socialist Party MP Ben Belushi says that at this current moment, he has no plans for running uh, to run for the Tirana mayor. He made this statement today. I have had a meeting with the Prime Minister recently, and this is no longer a secret. The subject of the meeting is private, and I do not prefer to make it public. I will not run for the mayor of Tirana, but I, but I express my readiness to support every candidate in Tirana and elsewhere during the electoral campaign, said Mr. Belushi. When asked who the Socialist Party candidate for mayor would be, Lucy said that the Prime Minister will first consult with the Socialist Parliamentary Group. He said, If those who have the right to choose the candidates act like they did with the selection of ministers two years ago, the results will not be good. I hope that there will be consultations with the Parliament Group for all of the candidates. If the Socialist MPs are avoided, this would be fatal, said Lucy. 
Mr. Belushi also commented on the resignation of the mayor of Pogradets, saying that he sees it as an abandonment of duty. The doctors of the Mother Teresa Hospital held another protest today against the coming tests that the government has planned for them. They have given warning that they will be holding protests every day and that they will all strike on Saturday. Tomorrow, the doctors plan to hold their protest in front of the Prime Ministry building. Saturday is one of the days that has been assigned for the testing, and the doctors have given warning that they will not be showing up to work on that day. The doctors have signed a petition against the initiative of the Ministry of Health, and it has been submitted to the Assembly Speaker and to the Prime Minister. The petition was also submitted to the Minister of Health. Aura News has asked Minister Betshai what is going to happen with the testing of the doctors, but he refused to give an answer. Some sources from the Ministry of Health say that the testing will be done on the dates planned and that this process is irreversible at this point. Last night, Albania's defense minister was invited as a guest on our Aura News show tonight, Ilva Tore. Defense Minister Kodeli addressed several topics yesterday evening. She made the declaration that she believes the former government purchased two software programs for use in domestic and political spying. The minister said that she has submitted a denouncement of this issue a year ago. Minister Kodeli also talked about Major Feka, the Albanian military man who was killed while trafficking drugs a few weeks ago. She said that the major had received a certification from NATO which should never have been given to him. She added that the history of the major is going to be further investigated. She also addressed the concerns that new legislature is intending to remove the competences from the president. She commented that none of the president's powers are going to be removed. The defense minister uh, declared that she is open to any inquiry commissions established by the Democratic Party, but she expressed her feelings that they are just political games being played by the Democratic MP, Gens Strazimiri. Speaking about the drug trafficking plane in Jadar, the minister said that she was aware of the plot, but did not know the author behind it. She said that the plan in Jadar failed and that it had nothing to do with drug trafficking. She said that it was done merely to provoke accusations. There were debates today in the Security Commission between the Socialist MPs and the Democratic MPs. The point of disagreement was the new draft law on the military police of the armed forces. The opposition asked whether the government had consulted this draft law with the NATO partners, and the Ministry of Defense could not provide documented proof that they had done so. When the, con when the consultation with the NATO partners could not be proven, the opposition members abandoned the meeting with the Security Commission. The draft law on the military police of the armed forces was approved with only the votes of the majority, together with two members of the opposition. These two opposition members have since changed their position and are now voting against this draft. The German ambassador feels that the number of Albanians that are seeking asylum in Germany is quite concerning. The German Ambassador Hoffman said that there were 1,650 asylum seekers in January alone, but they will soon be sent back to their own country. Mr. Hoffman said, It is a concerning issue for us. There were 1,650 Albanian asylum seekers recorded in January alone. I want to make it clear that all of them will be returned to their country soon. Germany is proud of the tradition that we have of accepting political asylum seekers but we do not offer economic asylum. People need to build their future here and improve the economic prospects here to make acceptance into the EU possible. The German ambassador has expressed praise for the territorial reform in Albania. According to him, his, this, uh, this reform is a very important project. He said that the fact that the reform has been supported by many donors shows that they have good reasons for supporting it. The ambassador did not comment on the current political climate, but he called all the parties to participate in the local elections. These comments by the ambassador were made from Elbasan, where he was being hosted by the mayor. 
Earlier, Ambassador Hoffman visited the Kurum Company, where he was familiarized with the investments in the electrical substation. That concludes our news for this evening. Thank you very much for watching. We will be back again at the same time tomorrow with more translated news in English. Thanks and good night.